We who are alive and remain shall be caught up in the Spirit. So our destination is the Spirit. We know where our destination is, and we know that we have to do certain things to get there. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today, and you walk with Him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstrott. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure that you subscribe. If it's not your first time here and these messages are a blessing to you, consider becoming a partner with us. We appreciate you. Today I'm going to talk about what does it mean to be in the Spirit? Because if that's our destination, what does it mean to be in the Spirit? Go to Revelation chapter 1, and then let's read verse 10. This is John talking. I was in the Spirit, or there's those words, I was in the Spirit on the Lord's day, and heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet saying, so John here was in the Spirit, and he heard words, say he heard words. We generally equate being in the Spirit with visions and revelations and angelic visitations, and all of those things are true. Just because you may not be having an angelic visitation or you may not be having a vision or a revelation doesn't necessarily mean you aren't in the Spirit. We're going to qualify that as we go along here. But we generally equate, if I say somebody is in the Spirit, that's what we think about it. But it's not necessarily so. Let me read a couple other translations of Revelation chapter 1, verse 10 and give you an idea here. On the Lord's day... The Spirit took control of me. That's the Good News Bible. I came to be in the Spirit on the Lord's Day. International Standard Version. I came under the Spirit's power. God's Words translation. One thing that we can see right away that being in the Spirit is to be strongly influenced by the Spirit. It doesn't just mean to be out of your body and in some kind of angelic visitation or vision so you can be strongly influenced by the Spirit you can be operating in the Spirit and the Bible calls that being in the Spirit go to Galatians we will go back to Revelation there we go to Galatians chapter 5 and let's look at verse 25 if we live in the Spirit let us also walk in the Spirit Again, those same words, in the Spirit. If we live in the, say live, if we live in the Spirit, influenced by the Spirit, operating in the Spirit, remember? Then let us walk in the Spirit, influenced by the Spirit, operating by the Spirit. Living or obtaining life in and from and by the Spirit or the Spirit realm is where we're supposed to be. Having said all of that, because I'm qualifying it, there is a spirit realm there is a realm of the spirit where the angels are and do things where a lot of stuff is going on right now there is a spirit realm let's read this again i was in the spirit on the lord's day and heard behind me a great voice i was i looked this up into greek to come into being motion or movement from one to the other so when i was in the spirit meaning he became in the spirit specifically a condition or state in which something operates we are talking about how things operate so when you say i was in the spirit it automatically brings with it the connotation that something is operating and how it's operating did you get that I was in the Spirit and heard so now we're starting to talk about how it began to operate or how he got into the Spirit he heard say he heard and what do we say before that he heard he heard words saying say he heard words saying 
there is a connection between hearing words and being in the spirit and I'm hopefully Lord willing I can take you here the words that you hear are the thing and the Avenue and the conduit so to speak for you to get in the spirit because that's where we're going does this make sense so he heard words that were in the spirit go to Revelation chapter 2 verse 7 he that hath an ear to hear let him hear what the Spirit saith to the churches now we know he wasn't talking about their outside ear because everybody had outside ears what ear do you think he was talking about the ear of the inner man the ear of the Spirit he that has an ear to hear what the Spirit saith now if the Spirit is a spirit and he is and he says spiritual words what ear are those spiritual words going to come to but your spiritual ear hearing is in the spirit when you hear the spirit you're in the spirit you're operating in the spirit have you ever been in a service and maybe you've done it even here where all of a sudden I will be saying something and it will sound say sound it will sound differently what you just did was here in the spirit you heard it with your spiritual ear you my friend were in the spirit biblically when you heard you heard with your spirit ear and you were in the spirit hearing the Holy Ghost told me to tell you this I will not let you down I will take you into the spirit now if you can hear that you can have it how many times have I said that if you can hear it you can have it why because you're hearing it with your inner man you're hearing it with the the ear of the spirit and that is in the spirit that's where we're going I will not let you down I will take you into the spirit but you must listen he that has an ear to hear let him hear what the Spirit saith so hearing are you still here hearing is in the Spirit I was in the Spirit on the Lord's Day and heard are you seeing this are you hearing this Revelation chapter 1 verse 12 and I turned to see so he heard and then he turned to see that spake with me and being turned I saw seven golden candlesticks he turned and saw so seeing is in the spirit what do you suppose he saw with it wasn't his physical eyes it was his spiritual eyes he saw with the eyes of his spirit just like you hear with the ear of your spirit you are a spirit first Thessalonians 5 23 says that you'd be sanctified holy your whole spirit soul and body you are a triune being you have a spirit man you have a soul which is your mind your spirit is your spirit your soul is your mind and your body is obviously your physical body your spirit man has ears and he has eyes he also has a mouth so what part of you is doing the hearing your spiritual ears what part of you is doing the seeing your spiritual eyes I know a lot of this might seem basic but I have to line these things up the right way your spirit you understand that spirits all about your spirit is in the spirit does this make sense it's a spirit so I mean if you removed your flesh and you removed you know the the solical parts that block you from seeing the things that are in the spirit your spirit man is in the spirit he lives in that world so your spirit is in the spirit because he is a spirit more or less influenced by the Holy Ghost can you see this so if we live in the spirit let us walk influenced by the spirit what does that mean that our spirit man should be more not less influenced by the Holy Ghost take courage you are in the spirit more than you know and people say, oh, I've never been in the spirit you have you probably just don't know it either you've been blocked by your body or your mind just doesn't get it but you are in the spirit more than you know so when you worship the Holy Ghost when you pray in other tongues 
when you do your confessions you are actively doing things with your spirit man and your spirit man is active your mental parts might not be as active and your physical part won't be as active is this making sense but I'm doing things say I'm doing things I'm doing things with my spirit man he's active he's moving he's a spirit man he's in the spirit and so when I do things that are spiritual praying in the spirit worshiping the Holy Ghost speaking God's Word as confessions my spirit man is active he is going to be more prone to hearing from the Holy Ghost and being sensitive to those things that the Holy Ghost is doing and saying Revelation chapter 1 verse 10 I was in the Spirit on the Lord's day and heard say I was in the Spirit and heard when are you gonna hear better when you're in the Spirit when you remember we said all that I was in had to do with activity so we can imagine that John here was doing spiritual things doing spiritual activities and he heard which is where I just tried to bring you up to he was doing spiritual things and he heard he was spiritually active say he was spiritually active and he heard and I can tell you from experience when I hear the most or when I see the most it's when I'm doing spiritual things and my spirit man is active here's another translation I thought you'd find interesting this is the New Living Translation of Revelation 1.10. I was worshiping in the Spirit. So he was doing an activity in the Spirit. It, you are a spirit being, and if you're doing spiritual activities, you are doing them in the Spirit. I was in the Spirit and heard. Right? So I was worshiping. In the spirit on the Lord's day that's the New Living Translation now that should sign sound very familiar to many of us here he was worshiping in the spirit quickly go to John John chapter 4 let's look at verse 24 God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in the spirit right if I'm worshiping God the Spirit God is a the spirit they that worship him God the Spirit if I worship him I must worship him in the spirit or by the operation of my spirit worshiping him does this make sense if I do that I'm doing a spiritual activity and those words will take me into the spirit they that worship him must worship him in the spirit and truth meaning we have to do it with words if I worship the Holy Ghost I'm going to use the words I worship you Holy Ghost if I do that I'm doing a spiritual activity and those words will take me into the spirit so again we see here that it's words that get you there it's words that get you into the spirit it's the activity your spiritual activity with words that gets you into the spirit words are the thing that gets you there go to uh, Jeremiah 7 and we just saw that some of those words I've been down this trail a thousand times when you use the words I worship you Holy Ghost it takes you to a place in the spirit that other people can't get to because they won't use those words they refuse to go there but if you use those words I just showed you I was worshiping in the spirit those that worship him worship him in the spirit if I'm worshiping him in the spirit doesn't mean I'm just putting on some pretty music it means I am worshiping him and the way you worship him is by words we've already been down that trail are you here did you find Jeremiah Jeremiah chapter 7 verse 2 stand in the gate of the Lord's house who's the Lord's house in our day 
we are the Lord's house in our day because we are the temple of the living God who is the Holy Ghost stand ye in the gate of the Lord's house and proclaim there this what word and say say it, it's words you have to say say it's words you have to say if I'm worshiping the Lord it's because of the words that I'm saying it's not the tune that I'm humming I'm saying words I'm saying I worship you Holy Ghost and through those words I enter in to the Spirit stand in the gate of the Lord's house and proclaim there this word and say hear ye the word of the Lord I'm saying words I'm hearing words right all ye of Judah that enter in at these gates to worship the Lord I hope that you're getting this and hearing it when you use the words of worship they cause you to enter into the gates so words of worship are what get you in I have other messages on this you should probably go and listen to them using the words I worship you Holy Ghost which by the way I got those words out of the Spirit it was in the Spirit and it was given to me use the words I worship you Holy Ghost and when you use the words I worship you Holy Ghost if you can hear it they will cause you to enter into the Spirit I have given you several scriptures that tell you the exact same thing and so those words are key to this specific room of Holy Ghost worship which is in the Spirit how about tongues are tongues words that I can speak that will take me into the Spirit sure I would imagine that John John was speaking in other tongues quite a bit and worshiping God when he said I was in the Spirit and I began to hear so tongues are also words that you can use that will transport you I know that sounds weird language worshiping the Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost will transport you into the Spirit you praying in tongues speaking in other tongues will transport you into the Spirit who does this who initiates this John said I was in the Spirit meaning he was the one actively putting himself in the position he wasn't the one now make the mistake here he wasn't the one generating a vision or generating some voice of the Lord to come to him he was putting himself in a position to hear where he could hear and see accurately by doing what he was supposed to do worshiping God praying in the Spirit we initiate this we prime the pump with our spiritual activity 1st Corinthians chapter 14 verse 15 what is it then I will pray with the Spirit I will pray with the understanding also who does the praying with the Spirit you do who does the praying with the understanding also you do how about worshiping what if I pray with the Spirit we could talk that that would be praying in other tongues what if I want to worship with my understanding also you have understanding now you should use the words I worship you Holy Ghost right when I go I worship you Holy Ghost I'm worshiping with my understanding that God is a spirit and they that worship him worship him in spirit so we initiate it what if we don't initiate it then you may never have the things that you should be having and you won't be in the spirit the way you ought to be in the spirit second Corinthians chapter 12 verse 1 it is expedient for me doubtless to glory I will come to visions and revelations of the Lord you go into the spirit and don't get weird with this I said that we're not manufacturing it but we are the ones who when we enter with worship whether when we enter with speaking in other tongues we make ourselves available for him to give us visions and revelations of the Lord you can say I will therefore come to visions and revelations of the Lord let's read on here verse 2 I knew a man in Christ about 14 years ago whether in the body I cannot tell or whether out of the body I cannot tell God knoweth such an one was caught up to the third heaven and I knew such a man whether in the body or out of the body I cannot tell 
He couldn't tell. He didn't know. God knoweth how that he was caught up into paradise and heard. Say, and heard. Caught up into paradise and heard unspeakable words, which is not lawful for a man to utter. Now, this may seem strange to people at first that aren't very experienced in these things, but more often than not, say more often than not, when I'm praying in tongues a lot, or I'm worshiping the Holy Ghost, I worship you, Holy Ghost. I worship you, Holy Ghost. When I'm doing that, am I in the Spirit? I am in the Spirit. And when I'm doing that, when I'm doing my part, positioning myself in the Spirit, I've entered in, I'm there, more often than not, something will happen that I don't know what it is. Just like Paul said, I couldn't tell. God knows. He didn't know the specifics about it, but he knew something. Do you understand? And so more often than not, when I'm worshiping the Holy Ghost or praying in tongues, and I'll just say, I'll know that, that something happened, something was given to me, something happened to me or to one of my partners, something happened, and I'll just say, thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you for that. Well, how can you thank him for something you don't know what it, I know it was good and I know he and I know that he did something I'm in the spirit and he's doing things so sometimes I don't know what happened but something happened other times while I'm praying in tongues I'm worshiping the Holy Ghost or I'm doing my confessions sometimes a vision or a word of the Lord will come to me and I'll know that I had a vision and I'll know that I had a word of the Lord but I don't know what it was you go well, well that sounds weird he knew that something happened but he didn't know what and like I said more often than not then later say later means after the fact after it renders after it unpacks in my spirit that vision that happened I know oh I had a vision right then I'll know and I'll see it and I'll know exactly what it was it's like you play it on rewind or the word of the Lord that's the word of the Lord that came to me over there does that make sense I was in the spirit but my mind wasn't in the spirit that's the problem Paul was having there his body wasn't in the spirit his mind wasn't in the spirit he was in the spirit and he had a revelation or he had a vision and then it took a while for his body and his mind to catch up you could say I remember one time I was interviewing a pastor for a paper I was writing y'all right with us and I'd spent I wanted to do it right so I'd spent probably a good hour praying in tongues before I went to this meeting and then I went in the meeting and I started you know asking questions and taking notes and whatnot and just all of a sudden while while we were while he was talking it's almost like I just bleeped out for a split second I was like I was there I wasn't there and then I was back and I was taking notes and I was like man something happened and I didn't know what it was so I continued to pray about it what happened well later on either that evening or the next after the next couple of days or something I saw it as clear as day the vision that I had while I was in that meeting you go why why does it happen that way I don't know why it happens that way Paul said I cannot tell God knoweth but when did the vision take place during the meeting it took me a while to get it to have it unpacked to render it so to speak another time I've told you about this before I was just going on a walk 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 praying in tongues praying in tongues praying in tongues all of a sudden something blew in my ear and I was like what was that that blew in my ear come to find out later as it was revealed to me say it as it was revealed to me I knew an angel blew in my ear and said specific words to me much of it put me on the direction that I am today I was in the spirit my body was walking and my mind was doing something else looking at the beautiful sights are you here so often when I'm spiritually active these things take place and I'm telling you more often than not you're in the spirit more than you know and other times I hope you're all right with this other times I'm right there 
other times I'll be praying in tongues no notice the 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 continuity here I'll be praying in tongues or worshiping the Holy Ghost when these things occur it's because my spirit man is active other times I'm right there I'm seeing it I'm experiencing it and I'll get up from that specific time of prayer and worshiping the Holy Ghost and be able to tell you as clear as day exactly what happened are you getting this either way I was spiritually active at the time so my spirit man heard my spirit man saw what does it mean to be in the spirit you could even say how I came to be in the spirit you can understand that now right how did John come to be in the spirit that's what those words are meaning when I worship the Holy Ghost who is God in the earth today I use the words I worship you Holy Ghost and I pray in other tongues my spirit man is active he's moving he's doing things he's saying words he's entering in we don't force the Holy Ghost to do something we're not manufacturing it like some would like to but we're making ourselves our spirit man available for him to cause us to hear can you understand this in the spirit is a place of provision it's a place you ought to be it's a place we ought to go for these end times we must have those things that are waiting for us there but we have to go there and get them they don't come and get you you go there and get them but we do it here in the spirit first and then we walk it out we have to have our spirit man active to enter into the spirit and then those things will come out let me pray for you Holy Ghost I thank you that these people are blessed today and that they have new revelation about who they are and what they what kind of people they are to be and as they step forth says the Spirit of the Lord and begin to become more spiritually active I will reveal myself to them and bring provision to them from on high and they shall know my name they shall be able to walk in the places and the things that very few have been able to walk in and no one has been able to until this final generation we thank you Holy Ghost for it we receive you we worship you I worship you Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost I thank you for these people in Jesus name Amen if you have a tithe or an offering you'd like to join us in this hold it up in your hand Say this, Holy Ghost, I dedicate my money, my tithes, my offerings to you, that you may use it in this last day, and that we may know your provision that comes out of the Spirit and makes life a wonderful thing. We give you all the glory and the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. The Father is in heaven, Jesus at his right hand. Your God in the earth.